This segment of Good Company was sponsored by the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Relief Center. So often when we talk about allergies, it seems like it's spring allergies, maybe fall allergies. But in the wintertime, they do not escape many of us. And this morning we're going to talk about the holidays and how foods and indoor allergies can be dealt with and or avoided with um, allergist Dr. Richard Lavi, who's with the Allergy, Asthma and Sinus Relief Center. It's very good to have you here on the show. Thank you. Well, I, I think wintertime, uh, finally allergies are going to subside, but not necessarily for a lot of people. No, you know, there's there's a lot of things that still trouble us. There's something called the Thanksgiving effect. This is a, <laughs> this is a weird one. Okay. So the holidays are here and your loved ones come back home. They've been away. You've had college students coming back, service people coming back, mm -hmm. and they've forgotten all their cat allergy and their dog allergy and suddenly come back and they're just miserable. Mm -hmm. So welcome home. Right. Well, I mean, I think when we're, we're locked up inside because it gets cold outside, the windows are shut, does it seem like allergies then tend to collect in the home a little bit more than normal? Yeah, you turn the vents on. You might not have changed the filters before you turn them on, so you're mm -hmm. blowing out a lot of crud. And also, it's drier. Yes. So you get stuffier and your nose bleeds and you just feel a little bit worse during this time of year. So what are your suggestions for de-allergizing, which is a made up word, the home? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really tough one because we're, we're creatures of indoor habit now. Mm -hmm. um, I think HEPA filters are really important. Those are high efficiency particle filters. That can mm -hmm. suck stuff out of the air that you don't want going into your nose and eyes. Mm -hmm. um, humidifying is really important. And then finding what works for you, be it a sinus rinse, a neti pot, talking to somebody who can help. You mentioned the humidifier, which I think really can have a lot of, certainly with that dry air. Yeah. Now, do you want to use the cold or the hot on your humidifier if you have an option? I don't think there's a real good study to tell you what mm -hmm. to do science-wise, so it's really personal preference and comfort cool mist always seems better. Okay, this time of year, I mean, if you choose not to put up the artificial tree and you still want the smell of pine, people are setting up their Christmas trees. Are there a lot of allergies to pine that people may be unaware of having? So we all love live Christmas trees, mm -hmm. you know, but they are sort of magnets from pollens and mold. They've been sitting out there collecting this stuff. So you bring them inside and then there's this period of misery but it's the holidays, so you feel good about right. it. Right. <laughs> Until have, you don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. Some people have gone to the length of they'll get a leaf blower, and before they bring the tree into the house, they'll blow the tree down, basically. get all, You have the Charlie Brown tree at the end, but uh. you, know, <laughs> you basically can get some of that stuff off. And some people actually bleach, use some bleach on the trunk to get rid of the mold oh, so wow. they don't bring all that stuff in. So those are semi-practical tips. Okay, that's quite a process to go through. Yeah. Um, pet allergies. <laughs> Uh, you, we kind of touched on them a bit, but worse this time of year, and what can you do to help subside your pet allergies? Uh, you know, we all love Fifi and Fufu and Fafa, but you know, they're, they're, they're getting us. So, mm -hmm. you know, keep them out of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. HEPA filters are so important. Mm -hmm. Washing your pet. Okay. Those are sort of the semi- Well, yeah, vacuuming mm -hmm. with the HEPA filter also mm -hmm. helps. So okay. just try to remove the dander however you can. Food allergies, if you have them, I have them. I'm very aware of the food allergy I have, and I think anybody who knows of their food allergy is also yeah. very aware. Yeah. But can cross-contamination be a huge issue, even if like just a little bit of something touches a little bit of something that you're allergic to? Absolutely, that's the big bugaboo. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the one you can't really prepare for, and you have to, you have to ask the chef. If you're going out or you're going to somebody's home, the hostess or the host or the chef, they're ultimately responsible for your food safety. And mm -hmm. if you're concerned, you have to talk to them and say, I need this level of preparation from you. Something you should carry with you just in case or something something sneaks by you? Your injectable epinephrine if you're really that allergic. Yeah, okay. You have bona fide food allergy. Yep. All right. Well, if allergies are something that you suffer from any time of year, um, you can contact the doctor over at the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Relief Center in Twinsburg and Chardon, 330-423-4444, or log on to AAA. SRC.com, which we'll also have on our website, goodcompanyshow.com. Now we're going to send it over to Michael with more holiday cheer. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Well, hopefully you're not allergic to holiday parties because our next guest, who's a lifestyle expert, Brian.